Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you real quick how to downgrade your PSP from 6.60 to any other official firmware version uh, from 660 you can go down to 6.39, 6.35, 6.20, 5.03 uh, whatever you want to do as long as your PSP will support it and for this I'll be using my PSP 3000 you can see the microphone hole the uh, PlayStation home button and the small ring on the back it's a PSP 3000 silver and uh, I'll show you real quick so that you don't call me faker I'm in 660 right now and first thing you want to do is connect your, your PSP to your computer Alright, this is the file. I'm going to be downgrading to 620. So you'll see this file says uh, downgrade 660 to 620. There'll also be links in the description 660 to 6.39, 6.35. So you just download the one that corresponds to the firmware you want to go down to. So if you open up that file, you'll see a PSP folder. There's my PSP connected on that side just grab this PSP folder and drop it right into your memory stick and it's going to prompt and say do you want to merge this folder you want to click on yes and then it will copy everything to your PSP Okay, now you can disconnect your PSP, and go over to the game section, select the memory stick icon, you'll see the PSP update, and you will see the, the PS. this is the downgrader right here, it'll say 620 and have the Genesis competition background, you want to select that one. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you guys. Come on. I want you to be able to see what it says. Focus. This camera has an autofocus. It doesn't let me actually focus the camera. So I'm at the mercy of the autofocus, whether or not it wants to work. At the any given moment, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And this is one of those few times where it just doesn't. Well, I'll read it to you for the sake of reading it to you. It says, by running this application and launching the SEE updater, you accept all responsibility of any damage, temporary or permanent, that may occur when using this application. This application has been tested with no loss of functionality or any damage to the system. However, it cannot be guaranteed to be completely safe. By running this application, you accept all risk involved. Press X to start the updater. Press R to exit. Now, obviously you want to start the updater. This is just going to launch. It reads the factory uh, firmware that your PSP came with. It makes your PSP think that's what firmware it's in. And it allows you to run an update that is actually lower than your current version. So you just want to press X to that and it will launch into the updater. You don't need uh, custom firmware to run this. It runs right off of official firmware. And it should launch the 620 update. There you go. PSP system software version 6.20. Hit X to start. Accept the agreement. press the X button to start and that's that simple pretty much you're downgrading your PSP to whatever firmware you want now it's important for you to know before you start which PSP version you have if you have um, 
a PSP 1000, you can use this to install any firmware version that you want. You can use it to install 620, 5.03, 5.50, 5.0, whatever you want. If you have a 2000, you got to know which 2000 you have and which uh, firmware it was shipped with. Like, uh, you only can go down as low as your PSP was shipped. If you go any lower, you'll brick. So, like, if you have a PSP 3000, you better be damn sure that you have uh, a, a 3G model if you're trying to go to 620 or 5.03. You better be sure you don't have a 5G. I mean, not a 5G, uh, an 8G, a 9G, anything like that. Because if you try to go down lower than, than 6.31, you'll brick. So definitely be sure of what type of PSP you have. Uh, if you're not sure, install some type of pro. Use PSP ident to check your motherboard type. Uh, check your your. You could use a PSP module checker to see exactly what module you have. Uh, I know the rules are 3G can go down to 5.03. A uh, 4G can go down to 620. Um, a 5G can go down to 620, which is a PSP Go. Uh, and 7, 8, and 9G can only go down as low as 6.35 to install custom firmware. You can't go down to 6. Point, you can go down to 6.31, but you can't install custom firmware from there. So, general rule of thumb: 7, 8, and 9G don't go lower than 6.35. 4G don't go lower than 6.20. 3G don't go lower than 5.03. And if you stick to those rules, you should be all set. And uh, P PSP 2000, regardless of your motherboard, you can go down as low as 5.03. And like I said, a 1000, you can go anywhere you want. Now, after this update completes, you're almost definitely going to get uh, the BSOD. Which stands for the blue screen of death. And I'll show you how to defeat the blue screen of death. It just basically tells you that your PSP has um, corrupt settings. Alright, press X to restart your PSP. And you'll see the B side. Nobody likes to see the B side. See, there's your blue screen of death. It says setting information is corrupted, press circle to repair and restore to default. You press circle and it will reboot again. There it is. <coughs> And then you, it restored you to default settings, so you have to uh, put all your stuff in again. There we go. Just downgraded from 6.6 .6 to 6.20. It's that simple. So make sure you download the correct um, file in the description. Make sure you know what you're doing because you don't want to end up breaking your uh, PSP. A lot of times if you try to run an update that is lower than you're allowed to go, your PSP will just freeze and shut off, so you won't be able to do any any real damage, but just want to be safe, guys. Because uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, leave some of those reactions. Nobody's leaving reactions on my videos. I'd like some reactions. So, uh, yeah. Check out sneakycodes.tk, sneaky-media.com for all your ISOs, movies, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, that's about it. Have fun downgrading. It's Warren Leader signing out.